The final minutes after months of waiting. Yeah, we have still a few more minutes. This is not your regular airport yeah, anticipation. Time. It's a scene that's played out across the country as Syrian refugees are welcome to Canada. It's not every day that we get the privilege to play a small part in somebody else's lives and to help them start a new life, especially in this beautiful country. So we're just hanging along this time. I know. <laughs> and it's also not every day that life seems to come full circle. I didn't think I'd be this emotional. Um, the anticipation is that they are going to be very grateful, just like Jung's family was. It was young Tran Davies who was on the other side of the arrivals door nearly 40 years ago. The Vietnam War had ended and tens of thousands of Vietnamese were fleeing the communist regime, many heading out in rickety boats across the South China Sea. My mom felt that there was nothing left in Vietnam, that, that she put her faith or her, her trust in God when we, she decided to abandon everything and, and gathered us up and, and take us to sea on the boat. Her mother was a seamstress and a widow with six children. Tran Davies was just five years old when the family made that dangerous journey. I do remember being in the boat and being cramped up in a boat. Apparently there were 300 other people there and we were at the bottom of the, this wooden boat at seas and it was suffocating down there and it was nauseating. The family eventually arrived at a refugee camp in Malaysia where they spent eight months before a church group from Alberta reached out and brought the family to Canada. The priest announced to us that we were going to be sponsoring a special family. It was a widow with six children. Not everyone wanted to uh, sponsor a family like that because they thought they would be a burden on society. Well, let me tell you, this family has been anything but a burden. They're really well-qualified Canadians. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Today, Tran Davies is a doctor. Good. Good. Practicing in rural Alberta but never far from her mind, her first memories of Canada. I don't know if they make dolls like this anymore. <laughs> she was given this doll when she arrived in Edmonton in July of 1979, a moment captured by the local newspaper. I frame it and I, I have it hung up on the wall because it's a constant reminder that, that we need to do the same, that we need to, to pass on the kindness that, that we received. Which is why she's now getting ready to welcome a family from Syria with the help of a group of friends. And this is the place, oh, wow. yeah. And some of those who sponsored her all those the years ago. The living room is quite spacious, isn't it? Is. The group had to find suitable housing. They've been given a family which includes a single mother and her five children. They've been told it could cost up to $40,000 for one year of sponsorship. And while the government will contribute some money, they have to be prepared to support the family for the first year. So these are the donations that we've gathered up. We've gone into the city almost every weekend. So Tran collected donations, money and household items, which quickly piled up in her garage. Quite a few bags of clothes and from this end. Meanwhile, her sponsorship family was in Lebanon, waiting with other Syrians to board a plane to come to Canada. Tran Davies was told they could get very little notice about when the family would actually arrive. So in December, she and her group rented a house and began getting it ready. We're trying to put some of the furniture in place, get the bed and mattresses uh, put together and maybe the dining table today, if possible. Then they waited anxiously. I really do look forward to that moment and to see their faces as they come through the doors and to know that they're, um, yeah, sorry, that they're finally safe, uh, you know, away from the war, sorry. <laughs> um, away from the war, away from, um, you know, the, the, the harsh conditions that they're living in, for the mother to know that this is the moment you know, the beginning of the rest of their lives. Hello. Then one late February evening, finally a first meeting. We've been waiting for so long for you. Welcome, welcome to Edmonton. A moment that mirrored another from years ago. 37 years ago, someone gave me a doll. And so this is, this is for little Alma. Likely overwhelming and a blur for the littlest in this group. They've been traveling for hours and any communication has to be done through a translator. She is yeah. thanking you. 
Yes. And she's saying, thanks God that they are here. Yeah, we, we thank God that you're here safely. Welcome to your new home. A fresh start for one family after another paid it forward. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.